Okay, people ask me, is it a good time to buy or not a good time to buy? One thing that the average person or average civilian doesn't know about real estate is that it comes in cycles, right? Mm -hmm. Most of the time, it stays pretty much the same. People are crying right now because of interest rates. But if interest rates are high, the, ha the, the prices of the homes go down. But when interest rates are low, the prices of the homes go up. And when interest rates are low, a person can come in, like we saw last year, come in and outbid $20,000 over the standard person coming in and buying. So now you're coming in, purchasing and, and buying and, and sending out a monthly mortgage payment at the same price as you did at a cheaper house because you, you had to upbid because the competition was so high at a cheaper interest rate. It's somewhere around about the same mm -hmm. if you look at the cycles. High interest rates, low prices. Low interest rate, high prices. And when the prices are high, people come in and overbid with the low interest rate because at that point, your initial down payments and your closing costs may appear somewhat cheap. Okay. Uh, now, the market, man, as most people say, is messed up right now. Mm -hmm. Do you ever think the market will rebalance itself? How is the market messed up? How's are uh, overly priced mm -hmm. and the interest rates are... That's ridiculous in, uh, in percentage as far as I remember the interest rate being at, what, what, 4%? Mm -hmm. And now the standard is, what, about 6? 6 or 7. 6 or 7. Mm -hmm. So will that ever go down, or do you think because of COVID mm -hmm. that it just stuck there now? No. Um, things go up and down. Mm -hmm. The economy rises and it, and it stables itself out all the time. What I would say to that is this, is that you, you often hear of a lot of times in the 90s and things of that nature that people were paying higher interest rates than we are paying now. Um, when they were down at four and 3% and so forth and so on, that was during COVID in order, in order to stabilize the economy. Um, home ownership is a, is one of the top stabilizing factors of, that the economy is built upon. What percentage of people are serious or not? Serious people, 30%. Um, people playing games somewhere around 70%. Everybody wants to get into real estate. Everybody wants to purchase a home. Now, but when you say, hey, get pre-approved, go out and, and talk to this person. No, I'm not shoving you off on anybody else, but if you don't have a pre-approval letter, we can't even start looking into what you say that you want. Because everybody has a wish list. I want a pool. I want four, four bedrooms. I want this. I want that. I want this. Okay, that's fine and well. But the paperwork doesn't line up. It's just talk. So a lot of people are afraid to go get pre-approved. Because then the talking has to stop and the work can begin.